So I want to talk a little bit about the McLaren P1 and what this car is all about. So there's a couple of crazy things on this car that it's not like any other McLaren. So it's not like the 720S that we have or the 570S we have. Let's talk about some weird things that this car's got initially. So first of all, how you kind of get in the car is kind of a little different to any other McLaren. If you come over here, we'll show you. It's got these two little buttons on the inside of the car right here. Uh, you can kind of see them, there's two. One is to lock it and one is to open it, right? So you, the kind of weird thing on this car is when you unlock it, it unlocks it and you lift it up, but it's kind of a weird angle lifting up the car. So you normally you would kind of lift up the door from the bottom and it kind of gets in the way. So this just, just the placement of the way you unlock this vehicle is, is a little diff, different. So that's one of the kind of crazy things about opening this car, getting in it. It's got the a weird positioning on the buttons to get into it, right? But if you open up the trunk on this car, which is actually in the front, you would go around and you would think that you'll have to come over here and try and find a little latch. No, it's not there. So getting into this trunk, it's got a button in here somewhere, one of these sides, that you go in here and you've got to push in here and then lift this up to get into the trunk. Now, there's not much room in the trunk, so you can't really take this on the weekend and go anywhere because that's all your cargo space that you have right here. So let's talk about a little, little bits about this car too. So let's kind of start it up first. So. Here's your start button up here, right? You've got your settings over here, right? Which is your sport and your track and your everyday driving, right? And you've got two different settings here, right? You've got one for your suspension and then you've got the other one for the power. So you've got these two different dials. But to get it to work, first you've got to hit active. And then you can go to the different settings on your suspension and your performance. This is your aero button. This changes the position of your rear spoiler and the aerodynamics of the vehicle to, to keep it grounded as you're going around corners, right? And, uh, and so on and so forth. There's a couple of other crazy things on this car too. So if you hit the race mode, it will lift up your rear spoiler even higher and drop the vehicle. And then your rear spoiler comes up way higher and the vehicle drops. And we'll show you this from the outside too. If you look at the vehicle too, it is now dropped lower. So, vehicle's dropped, it's now more, it's probably about an inch lower than what it was when it was in regular mode, and your spoiler is like a dining room table <laughs> that you can eat off of, right? So, the active arrow will work that way, the vehicle drops, it's ready for the track, and you're ready to go. So that's in race mode right now. Totally different look to when you're in just regular mode. The other crazy thing about this car, I've seen this in many other cars, but it has a boost mode. So the boost mode runs the iPass system, right? Which is immediate performance, right? Assisted performance on the vehicle. So you hit boost. You have this button right here. So if you're on the track or you're racing somebody and you want additional 150 to 200 horsepower, you hit this button right here. And that will give you additional power 
when you're driving down the road. So you want to take over somebody at 150 miles per hour, hit that I-pass button on the steering wheel right here. So a lot of different options in this vehicle than any other McLaren I've, I've ever been in. Really cool options. Remember, this car is from 2014 with the technology that has on this vehicle still has not passed on to some of the new vehicles that are out on the marketplace. So this was like one of the leaders in that space when they bought, built these hypercars, right? I think this was the only vehicle out of the three hypercars that were built around the same time, which was the LaFerrari, the uh, Porsche 918 Spyder, and this vehicle that came out that has the iPass system something exclusive with McLaren, something that I haven't seen yet on another vehicle. Uh, maybe I haven't reviewed all of them yet, but so far, that is awesome. Something that's crazy, something that's cool, something you can talk about, and the technology from 2014 having all of this stuff on a vehicle that came out to market. It also has an E-mode button. After all the crazy stuff this car can do, it has an E-mode button. So the E-mode button at the top, it's full electric. So you just turn off the whole gas. You can drive maybe 8 to 10 miles on electric. Not really fast. <laughs> but it will get you there just in case you run out of gas. The cabin overall is all carbon fiber. If you look around, you feel like you're sitting in a carbon fiber tub which it is a carbon fiber tub, but so much carbon fiber on this vehicle, keeping it light, keeping it, you know, where the power to weight ratio is, is good, but really crazy stuff on the interior of this car. Walking around it and you're going to get some fuel and you're like, well, where's the fuel cap? Where do we put fuel in this car? So let me show you where it, where it goes. So you've got two different sections in this car, right? This one here is for the fuel. So you put fuel in this car on the roof of this car. That's where it, that's where it goes. So you've got one version of uh, form of fuel on this side. And let's go on the other side and I'll show you where you charge the vehicle. So you can charge the vehicle on this side you can put gas on the other side, both forms of fuel for this vehicle, right on the roof of this vehicle. The other thing you can do, you can also add oil on this side too. So, that's the only access that you have to the engine bay on this car. If you want anything done to this car, you have to take it back to a McLaren dealer to get under the hood. You can't even see the engine, you can't see anything. You see a bunch of carbon fiber, but no access to the engine. These are the only access points for fuel and oil. You've got your headlights, you've got your indicator lights right on the front, and they've taken the McLaren logo and incorporated it in the design over here and actually in the light. So if you look at it from the front, they've taken cues of the actual McLaren logo in the lighting on the front, in the back, in the air intakes, around the air intakes on the front, and in the actual design of the LED strip around the back. So, McLaren has really, really, really thought about this vehicle when building it, how to incorporate the branding on this vehicle, as well as the functionality of this vehicle, and putting all those things into one crazy car that they built with less than 400 examples worldwide. So, some of the cool things on this McLaren, full active aero, total bunch of carbon fiber, crazy stuff on the inside. This is their flagship vehicle. Uh, I know they've come out with the Senna, and a couple of other cars, but the P1 is a P1, it's their original hypercar. Just recently, they had other hypercars before in their time period, but this is the P1. This is the bad boy of McLaren. 
get your car wrapped, you need to get PPF, you need to get anything, you need to come down to Jacqueline Heights. This is Marty and we'll take care of you. Yeah. <laughs> 